So, let's dive directly into it. I just want to say some words um, to the topic and then we will immediately start discussing. Um, there is a little bit of a trick that we played. Implant is the English title, but the German translation Verpflanzen is actually a wrong translation. And we did this consciously because we wanted a double meaning. Verpflanzen in English actually means to, um, sorry, <laughs> implant, implant, transplant, sorry, transplant and implant. And let's just, I looked up in the dictionary and the most basic definition that you can find is to implant something is to put something dead into something living, like the bread, breast implants that we saw in your movie. And to transplant is to put something living somewhere else, like a plant into a different environment or a human person somewhere else or a liver into another body. So, Virgil, let me just immediately start with you. Can you, working with your films, especially the film that we just see, can you relate to these concepts of transplanting and implanting? Mm. Seriously, not, uh, it's not obvious for me to say this is the right word to speak about this film or, or I guess you think of, about editing, the fact that you, 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 cry, you try to make a patchwork with different type of images. That's my way to understand what you're, you're saying. Okay, yeah. The fact that you, you put in the same film uh, uh, some thing about uh, surgery, uh, the, the breast surgery, and something about the militia or something about uh, uh, architecture create a kind of hybrid style. I, I can understand that. But it's not like surgery. It would, it would be too much to say that. So uh, I'm interested by this word, but I cannot say much about the the meaning for, for my film, yeah. No, no, we just, we, we, we want to suggest this, these words, we don't have to stick to it, but I really like what you said about like editing to like bring disparate things together that maybe not obviously belong to each other. So watching your movie again, I thought of, um, do you, do you have anything to say or do you know the word cyborg, mm -hmm. which is like a mixture of like human body parts and uh, artificial body parts. There was an image of a, in the Scientology or the sect brochure of a man with a hard disk in his head. Is that something that would resonate more, like bringing different aspects from different living, non-living categories together? I, I, I like this the cyber thing because it creates a, a very political uh, point of view about a lot of things, but I, I'm not doing uh, film de genre. I'm not, I, I don't want to, I like the, the fantastic, the, the science fiction, but I want to find it in the real life. I, I, I always prefer film wh when they they found in a realistic way um, when when you don't have to 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 make it up uh, in a in a very in a too much uh, uh, Hollywood way, you know. It's always more profound, more deep, and more strong when a, a very realistic film find the the the, the horror s uh, film or the the, the sci-fi film in in real life. Last question to you, but you, obviously you don't make classical genre movies, but is this something where you draw inspiration from? Do you watch sci-fi horror movies or is it something that is completely out of your... No, no, I, like, uh, like I read the, the daily newspaper, like I, I look at the, what's going on t on French TV or, or all the European TV. I'm, everything is interesting for me. Everything is a, is a, it can be a source for, for, for find uh, inspiration and... Uh, there is some, sometimes the, 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 the real cinema, very serious cinema, it doesn't bring inspiration, it doesn't, it doesn't create uh, what's some, some, what you can find in, in popular culture with very striking and with, which gives you a, a strong desire to make a film. Okay, thank you very much. I would just continue along the table. Uh, we stick to the movies for the time being. Lily, um, if we take like transplanting and implanting as like creating collusions or clashes between bodies and places, looking at those two movies, is that something that you think is a, is a good way to approach them? Um, I'm asking you as a program director, so to say. Does it work? If not, you can also... Okay. No, I mean... Um... I think you could say this for the first short film because it's like extremely obvious what she's trying to to show because she takes this woman who do, does 
not at all belong to the world she's uh, putting in. And she's like an alien, a very sad alien, uh, and uh, like unconscious of, of the political meaning of her presence in this. But I, I'd say that it's much, for me, it's not very interesting because it's so obvious. And I think that, um, I, don't, I don't think that Virgil uh, would, I, I wouldn't say this about his film because I think it's more, uh, it, it, it's more, I think it's an extremely ob observational film and it's like, uh, you you would be, I'm sorry I'm speaking about you, but I would have <laughs> That's what we do yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no, but, uh, he but for himself. me, as I understand it, but it's like you're, you're seeing symptoms of a uh, sick society and, and you're in, a, in an extremely melancholic and, and disparate um, way. You're trying to uh, bravely uh, um, represent it. That's how I would see this film. So I wouldn't think about uh, implant or transplant. Uh, for for Virgil's film, yeah, film you would say? Uh, not directly, or I wouldn't have think about this. But, uh, so you would say that um, the ambassador's wife is doing something very simple? Um, it's the film, enfin, not her, enfin, her, I mean. Yeah, I mean, the film is like extremely, I'm sorry. I no, no, you I can, uh, we are the critics, we, uh, <laughs> but like, um, I, like as critics, we always, you know, like want to understand why something might work or doesn't work. So yeah. let's just talk a little bit about yeah, the I methods that she uses. Yeah, well, it's just a, a spectator reaction. I don't, it's, it's working, yeah, for sure. Uh, but, uh, what is she, 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 she's demonstrating something, and I think that's not very interesting um, because uh, demonstration is, is, is a closed process, is a closed mental process, and I'm not interested in a mental process or thinking process that close you to a, a point and aiming at a point and bringing you at this point exactly, directly, like a blockbuster, <laughs> you might say, but I mean, I'm just, it's its a bit boring for me because I was here and she said, okay, you go here, and I went and I, okay, I'm cool, <laughs> so I just get it, but I'm not, uh, I, I wasn't surprised in, at any moment, and also, apart from this, I think post film, I think it's very interesting <coughs> to have paired those films, uh, it's very, it, it really, it's meaningful, and I think it was a very interesting choice, a very interesting programming choice, because I think both films are, are, are raising an important question of uh, cinema, and which would be the caring of the character, and I think to short the, the caring of the character? Yes, okay. how do you care? What is your... Uh, Relation of yes. the film to its character? Yes, the care, you know, like take care of somebody. How do you take care of your own characters? Uh, I think the first film is really um, uh, putting this woman in a very hard position and giving her a very hard time. And I think politically, it's so obvious that it's not... Uh, um, helping us to, 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 to understand any complex situation or historical situation or political situation because you just have this white bourgeois uh, old, well not old, but uh, mature <laughs> woman and uh, black people working and she's like uh, it's so, so lonely and but I yeah, that's it. But maybe uh, since you're a director you yeah, exactly. have something would, to uh, say. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, um, like let's, in defense of uh, both uh, um, Traoré Dahlberg's movie and in sticking a little bit with our concept of transplantation and implantation, at least for another question, um, let's just like ask you the same question. Those two movies, those two concepts, do you agree with what we have been talking about so far? That one is simple and the other one is complex. One is exploitative, one could say, um, sim non-sympathetic to the um, uh, character and the other one has a much more weird relation to its diverse cast. What do you say as a, as a viewer? Um, I would say you, I'm a filmmaker, so immediately when you talked about the first film, I started thinking about my la the film I did seven years ago, so, and I was thinking how, 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 
how how does that relate to it would be sleep <laughs> sleeping sickness so I was a little bit I'm I, I didn't I didn't I didn't I completely understand your arguments against the film and it's true what is exposed but at the same time I I, I do feel that the character has that she's in a situation and that the character has a dignity in any way you know it's not uh, I'm not I'm not completely sure I don't see as much intention in in demonstrating neo I, I mean it's so obvious that, but at the same time, she's a, for me, she's a touching character. So I'm not, um, I, I don't completely agree, uh, dis uh, agree with you, but I, I do understand that it's a very simple thing to do. But sometimes, a simple thing can also be, be interesting. So I was not, I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not as hard with that film as, uh, uh, as you are, but I am. But I must admit, for me, uh, I know this is a thematic. Uh, you, you want you want to. No, we don't have to stick to it. Yeah, but for me, it's thought. like I have so many questions to ask Virgil because I'm, I'm. I saw the film before on video. Now I saw it again. I was I was really impressed. Um, and uh, I I must say, as a filmmaker, immediately I have questions about the way uh, this film was created and how 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 you got to, to this story. I mean. Um, it starts out with more with with people you are. I mean, that see more more that you're watching more, and at the end it becomes more dramaturgical in a way, you know. So and and I would just like to know how you what was the starting point of the film and how you, you, we talked a little before about the, the casting process. Did you have did you have just the plays and then you started casting and then the stories came or did you have uh, is this story at the end is it yeah. a it's true that the, the place is the beginning of everything and the name of the place especially is giving me a, a lot of phantasm and um, it's a place where I, that i know because i was going there when i was a child because my grandmother has a, a little hotel in, next to the beach in, not just the city uh, next to Sofia Antipolis and um, I wanted I just know I want to 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 make a film with the sun and with this this sun very powerful and very dark sun in, in a way and I know I knew that I wanted to 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 to, to film a, a, a Vietnamese or Thailand dish widow and I have just vision you know little visions and you I, that before you met her. You knew that yeah, you were yeah, looking sure, for sure. this person. Okay. No, no, everything is very script in a way because if you read the script of this film, it's, it's, it's what you see. It's very close to what I have written. But it's true that when I go to the looking for locations and then when I go for the casting of the characters, everything can change because uh, my plot is so lousy, so is so open that you can, you, you can put all life can can enter in the film because it's so simple. I just knew knew that at the end I wanted a kind of very poor and minimalistic uh, police uh, story mm -hmm. that was not on the film de genre, but just for the for the mythology of the of the of the in search of a, a, a young girl who has disappeared and. Uh, yeah, after that, I, 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 come, um, I went in a one year of casting and uh, I look everywhere to find my characters because I, I need to, uh, to find characters who is like, um, comment dit déjà le, le, le coup de foot, strike, striking, uh, le, le love at the first sight, yeah, you know, that's yeah, exactly I, I, I was looking for love at the first sight, even for the second role, you know. For, my, for me, the, the cinema that I love is when even the, 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 the little, little role is, is great, is, is charming, is, is full of, of, of truth. And uh, so I take a lot of time to find my characters and uh, I want to, to love them. Even the evil ones, the evil ones, even those who, who perhaps are my enemies, 
even those who, who don't think like I think, I want them to be true and to be no without taboo. Yeah, I, I'm looking for a kind of cinema where there is no taboo, where you 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 are like when you are a child in the in the courtyard and you say all what you think and because you, you need to, to get out of your mind all the, all the crazy things you have in mind. Lily, oh, yeah, okay, you are here. Because uh, I just want to, like, if I can ask, because I wanted to ask you, um, you, you described the film as very bleak, dark, and desperate. Now he says that he loves his characters very much. Do you, can you relate to that, or is that something weird to hear? No, totally, but uh, the thing that really strikes me in what you're saying is that when I, it was the second time uh, I was seeing it, and it, uh, the first time I didn't, I didn't think about it, but this time I was really like, you're, picturing uh, ch children. I mean, all those characters are children. And as you say, they have no limits. It's like they're playing in the courtyard, but they have real guns. And that's like a slight scary difference. But they really are children, I mean, in their head. So uh, I think the film is also asking, not, not uh, maybe not consciously, I don't know, but anyhow in this whole picture, how come a whole society has adults who didn't grow up. What, what, what is this moment of our history and society? What, what are those people? I mean, why didn't they grow up? Why, why are they going to Scientology? Or why are they playing like soup, uh, yeah. cops in the, in, the, in the courtyard? Yeah, or yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's really a good, like, like um, you know, you often hear talking about that the world is getting too complex and the individual cannot deal with it anymore. So um, I wanted to like get a little bit more specific about like the the context. Like if I watch these two movies together, for me as a like like as an observer, I also have the feeling that there's kind of a panorama of a colonial legacy um, opening up. You, you, your casting is very diverse. Like um, you seem to like like really. You know, France is a post-colonial society where, like, you have a, people with a lot of different backgrounds coming together. And then you have, like, the other side, the former colony, where stuff is still very clear, where the lines are very sharp, where, you know, the, the black people are working and the white woman is, uh, like, alone in the pool. Is this, like, colonial framework something that, that is, like, that you consciously reflect? Or is it just something that you take for granted when you start working and casting? Both. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, every every choice you make when you do a film is very dramatic. It's very important because you know that it emphasizes everything, uh, and uh, you have to 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 respond to every choice you made. Even the the the, the, the scene, the little clothes, the, the actor wears. You know it, it can be meaningful, uh, and you have to, to 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 be aware of that. So yeah, for sure, I was I, I knew what I was doing, talking about uh, the, 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 the question of, of co people of color and uh, and how French society uh, uh, if, uh, the, the, the story the whole story of France uh, 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 face to to the colonial uh, p uh, country. So yeah. Ask me a more precise question, perhaps, and I can. No, 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 yeah. like, like, yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean, that, yeah, that's what. But also, if you go uh, down to the street in France, you, you see it's people in the street. So you're also picturing what I mean with the people that are here. It's not only like it's just the people that are here. So in a way, I, I want to sh sh show. Uh, people who are not white, like uh, I show the one who are white, I don't want to make difference. They carry something, but I don't want to be too, too, trop attentionné, comment dire, trop, too. No, I think that you, uh, like they that, are humans. I like want to ask Ulrich, because I also think that he wanted to say something, but just like when, when the two uh, security guards join this group, you know, like generally we think this is like a fascist, like white supremacist kind of group. But it seems to be very fluent and open in your film, so yeah, I sure. feel like you, you consciously do that to um, treat people equally. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's it's uh, it's a truth fact uh, that in France uh, there is a lot of uh, Arab people who, who can join the Marine Le Pen party, 
uh, it's true that uh, Kenny West uh, loves uh, Donald Trump. Uh, everything is mixed now. Uh, <laughs> the, the rappers want to, to be billionaires like uh, f f white, f white uh, supremacist. Uh, Everything is fucked up, so my film is yeah, like that. No, just uh, also, have to include yes. <laughs> No, but just it's also I, I really stick to this super uh, documentaristic uh, aspect of your film. Eight, I think I don't know. I'm I'm just as a spurring a figure. I don't, I don't really know, but I think like eighty percent of the people working in security in France are actually black. Or Arab. So I mean, mm. that's just also a mere fact. It's not. It's not. It's not only creating. I mean, some kind of political speech or other. It's eighty percent of people. If you go to the, 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 the store or the parking lot or the the club to dance, the people who are doing security are black, and that's it. I mean. So Ulrich, uh, um, I had the I feeling mean, you wanted to say something some time ago, so uh, let's just give you the chance, otherwise I would ask a question. I, I, I don't really know if, if this argument, uh, you can find this in reality, yeah. is always a good argument for, for, a ch for because it's always, it's, it's the director's choice to place a, a woman of Asian descent be beside the flag of France, it's the di director's choice to decide that two of the most fascist figures of the film are black, er, or one at least. And so that's, that's also a choice, even if that exists, it's a, it's a choice a, a filmmaker makes in that moment, you know? So I'm, I'm not, it, this is not a criticism, but I, I still I believe that, that uh, um, it's not, so I don't really... Uh, you cannot you cannot interrupt each other with mic one just one microphone. <laughs> now just I mean uh, sorry we're speaking for you and then you can't hear the horror. but I mean it's I'm not saying that it's just a fact that is registering. It's just that I don't think they're they are the most fascist character. They are the heroes, they are the main character. Mm. That would be a political intention. I mean to give them the status, a dramatic status, because they're the main characters. The whole group is fascist, and it's a very interesting group to observe. They are wearing it. This so cute young lady, which you first discover with her little girl, and her love, and how she fell in love, and then you're like seeing her like uh, beating, I mean, you don't see her beating people, but you really can imagine that she would see a, a group of Rome people and she would really would not spare them. So this, the whole group is totally fascist, but the film is doing, I think, something related to this, to this colonial political matter, giving the, the black people a, a dramatic status of main character. This is where maybe something is happening. It's not like this, for you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's true. To, to continue what you're both saying, that I choose two black uh, people to do that because for me, it's a long tradition of the fear of a black man in a, in a, in a European culture. It's not uh, for nothing that you can find those, I don't know what the word, it's, it's like lamps, you know, where there is a slave, a black slave, carrying something and it's, it's a light or something like that. It's a long tradition of, uh, Make, make, um, f to, to create fear because the, the black man is strong. He's, 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 uh, he, he can. He, he, um, well, you, you understand. I'm sorry, my, my English is not uh, as good as I want. And uh, and uh, there is a new slavery for me. It's a new kind of slavery. Officially, there is no more slavery, but the state creates, uh, uh, put a, a lot of security guards, and uh, you know, on purpose. They choose a uh, black and uh, Arab to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, in the end, there was no disagreement. I have the feeling, but I was like with Ulrich when he said, um, you know, it's a choice. Um, you know, to how how to treat your characters and how to show them. Um, and uh, you know, it's not like reality is too complex to just say it happens in reality because just where you put your camera is already like a choice. So th the interesting thing for me when I watch this film, and this is like conceptually speaking, leading back into our discussion. 
is like there is a sci-fi quality to your film. It's you know it's the combination of like what's happening, the bodies and the places, how you film them. It's also the material that we might be able to talk about later. But there is a sci-fi quality in terms of where I have the feeling, I don't. Is it France where this is happening, or is it like Sofia Antipolis where where this is happening? What's the lieu? What's the place? And um, it seems to be a magical place to a certain degree, a very very cinematic place. So um, like. My question would be, do you have like an idea? I'm always asking you. Let's let's just say Ulrich. Like if I uh, asked you to speculate a little bit, um, where would you situate this movie? Would you say that it happens in France, just because the people are speaking French? That, that would be. Uh, um, I'm asking you as somebody who like thinks very complex uh, about places that are not easily categorizable. I'm sorry for. That. No, I, I want to ask answer in a very indirect way. When I was thinking about this film, we were talking about thickness, and I saw a film by a Japanese filmmaker turned in France, um, uh, Un Couple Parfait, and there's this one scene with Alex Deca in a museum, and he's playing just a, a totally normal French bourgeois. And that's the first time I, con I, I, I obviously I knew him from, from Pierre Denis films and so on. It's the first time I saw him play a totally normal French guy who in the film went to school to the lycée together with the character of Valérie Bruni Tedeschi. And that was something that at the time I thought you could have not shot in Germany in the same way, and at the same time the perverse thing was that it was not a French filmmaker who used Alex Deca in that way, but that it was a Japanese filmmaker who didn't even speak the language, I think, when he shot the film, and, and who made... So uh, my answer is, I mean, I think the, the colonial history is, is obviously more present in France than in Germany, because uh, the German colonies uh, were maybe luckily for our country taken away from us uh, 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 40, 50 years earlier than the French colonies became independent. And um, so that's a difference, but, but it's, it's, it's only in degree a, a difference, I think, yeah. Lily, if I can ask you one thing, like I always remind you, you are, you are leading festivals, directing festivals for a long time. I have the feeling, strangely, there are a lot of films that tr totally transgress borders, like the uh, example Ulrich just gave, but especially in festivals I have the feeling that the concept of a national cinema is still very prevalent. Like I find myself even saying, ah, oh, I just watched the Macedonian movie yesterday. Um, is that something that you, would you agree that nationalism in terms of categorizing films where they come from is still like an important, is like still a frame of reference in festival or is it something where you say, hey, you come from the past if you say something like that? Um, I'm not sure I got it, but uh, just uh, that what you uh, what you are saying about uh, Germany is just I don't know if uh, you you've seen it but last year in in Berlin Alley in Forum Expanded there was this short film called Café Togo. Yeah, I watched it. And it was really interesting because it's how a group of African people are struggling here in Berlin to change the name of the streets that are uh, the name of the. Um, Worst uh, colonialist uh, like uh, officers or yeah. yeah. So uh, I mean, they, they uh, by the way, if you don't know, they managed to do it. Yes. They were successful in the meantime since yeah, they made sure, the movie. Yeah, sure, because uh, like murderers, so <laughs> it's uh, they had good arguments. But uh, I mean, it's um, mm. it's uh, it's also uh, ha happening here also. Yes, uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, I don't know, but uh, no, I think cinema is uh, also, I, I don't know, but it's also a way of uh, of sharing uh, uh, your own uh, reality as a filmmaker and, 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 and your own reality as necessarily something to do with your, your, your place, with something ge with geographical and historical, which is the same thing. So uh, if you see a Kerostami film, you're, 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 you really are receiving something from Iran or from a place. So I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's uh Personally, I try to avoid every French uh, typical uh, thing in the location of my film. Except uh, the flag. Except the what? The flag. The, uh, the, the, the flag, yeah, yeah. 
that's a symbol, so it's okay. But uh, <laughs> it's strong. Now, I, I was for me what what was exciting for me to shoot a film in uh, Sofia Antipolis is it's remind me of a lot of um, of city near the sea, very influenced by the um, Americanism. Uh, by uh, Los Angeles, M Miami, all this city of pleasure and sun and, and eternal youth. And I think Sophia Antipolis was built in this, in this phantasm when it was built in the 70s. And it was exciting to shoot a film in France, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look like f the old France we used to see. And that's why I think it's really exciting to to continue to do films in France, it's because France is moving. France is not always the same white guy uh, smoking cigarettes on cafe and talking about uh, heterosexual love, and uh, so <laughs> things can change. <laughs> um, okay, we, we covered quite some ground, and I think soon we have to come towards the end and open up, up for um, the audience, but there is like one round that I would like to, to do before we, before we finally like uh, let you all. Uh, of the hook, so to say. We talked about the places. We talked about the characters and the relation to the characters. What we haven't yet talked about is a little bit the relation to the audience or concept of the audience. Because, okay, we br like like touched upon it when you criticized the first movie and saying it functions very differently. Um, but I just want to like like have all three opinions a little bit on the example of Virgil's film. Uh, Virgil's film. It's very open form. It's very associative. Um, kind of uh, editing in terms of what type of audience or uh, what the audience reaction might be. So maybe I can start with Ulrich because Ulrich, you, you wrote an essay, I think now it's more than 10 years ago, it's called Why I Don't Make Political Films. Mm -hmm. And there you like, like it's very, I really liked it. I, uh, I've uh, discovered it just some days ago. And there you like, like opt for a, what you call autonomous cinema, something that is like, uh, you know, that doesn't answer the questions for you. Um, why is that something better than you know making a predetermined political message? What 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 is what does it give to the audience that a closed film to yours uh, yours doesn't give the audience? Maybe it brings back memories. Maybe you are far beyond that essay now, or maybe it's still relevant. No, I I, I have some memories of it. <laughs> no, well, I think it was more naive what I, what I was trying to say. I was just trying to say that if you. If your main goal is political activism, then filmmaking is not going to be the best way to accomplish that goal. Or it, and you, you should, and so so I think uh, just I was playing with the mean the meaning of the world uh, of the word uh, political in the movie. Everything is political, obviously. So Virgil's uh, film for sure is a political movie, but it won't change anything. Uh, in the political landscape of France, and, and not only because it probably doesn't have millions of viewers, but because uh, that's now not how, how political po politics works. So that's what one thing. I, th I just think, I mean, that's, that's, that doesn't have anything to do with the question of I just think that a film, a film that doesn't answer the question is, is more interesting for me. It makes me, my a mind personal choice. Hmm? Just as a personal choice, preference. Yeah, because yes. well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think any, I don't think any filmmaker can explain the world any better than anybody else. And and so if he has interesting, if he po the, mo the the strongest thing he can do is pose some interesting question. And I think this this film really um, managed to do that. So that's uh, okay. Lily, uh, if I can, like, like transfer transplant the question to you like one thing that i liked about one of the interviews that you gave like in preparation to lucano you said i will i would definitely show star wars on the piazza i think it's called um, that was even the title of the interview uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, like there you you um, and then you referred to like that the equalizer 2 had been showing there and you said like um, you know mainstream art house it's something it's a separation that you don't seem to enjoy very much that you don't like very much yet he, you made a difference between what you call closed and open films. So now I would be, I would like to ask again: um, Is there like a potential that is missed in um, like big blockbuster art house films when it comes to audiences? That where you, your preference would be to something more loosely knit, or did I misunderstand the interviews where you said like, of course, 
a festival should always include different kinds of films. Um, I, I'm not sure that I understood, but no, I'm sorry. But I don't know if. Uh, but if we want to talk about that, I think I wanted just to say that, for me, uh, I I just want to be surprised and and. And I just want to deal with an, I don't know, an intelligent thing and something that is uh, cinematographically uh, intelligent. Actually, maybe I've talked about it, I really don't remember, but I have seen again Star Wars not so long ago with my son. Which one? Very important. The first one. Enfin, the first for my age. Like I mean, the first, uh, it's like the, the first really first one? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, the first, uh, the old one, the oldest one, let's yeah. say. So and and I haven't seen it since I was a kid, and I was really amazed by this <coughs> classical art fact, uh, uh, art craft, and I was like, okay, so Star Wars is not the bad film I thought it was. I mean, that's for for the first for first thing. It's it shows for me that cinephilia and love for cinema is not. It's a moving thing, so it would be transparent and not implant, right? <laughs> if you we want transplant. to stick to your, <laughs> to your point. But I mean, it's moving. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you might like a film and you see it like 10 years after and you're like, what, what is that? Uh, that uh, I, you don't like it anymore. And also, as a programmer, I, I, I'm really interested in the fact that uh, it's, it's uh, the same, um, it's the, same, the, the following of this uh, logical thinking, but I think we are not all at the same stage, let's say. So, for example, I don't know, when I've seen Mean Street, uh, and I was like 12 years old, I was extremely, extremely moved and extremely impressed. And, and then I've seen films, 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 and I ended by loving very much Jean-Marie Stroop films. And I don't think I would like, I would like it at 12 years old. So. I mean, you're, you're, you're doing your own path and you're starting from one point and going to another point and everybody has his own personal uh, path. And I think it's good for film programmers that I'm like doing this job for I don't know how many years and I've seen so many films and I'm seeing so many films just not to forget the beginning. So I think uh, that's maybe what I think is so definitely the answer. And now, Virgil, let's uh, take it out. And like, because it's a very <laughs> nice, um, like, it gives me the opportunity to just like smoothly go over. Because there's like this taking stories, re-experiencing them, rediscovering them. One thing that I really liked about your film, if I can be very like, blunt, is um, how stories, pieces of stories, seem to be shared by different characters. Like they reappear, like you have the breast implant thing, then it pops up when the cops talk to each other. And then, you know, when Sonia is retelling the story, it's about breast implants again. There is this being locked in a closet that one of the sect members is talking about. And then it's also something that happened in school. So like stories seem to be really shared. It gives me the feeling of there is like a narrative universe, so to say. That, And then I realized that some of the stories I wasn't like because I watched it some time ago, and now I watched it a second time, I couldn't pin it to any characters anymore, so I was, ah, this was that character's story. So I'm just asking myself, is this something that you like, does, because me as an audience member, I feel like this invites me in, like I share a world with the characters. Is that something that you intend to, or is it something that I totally speculate on? Yeah, no, no, I, I like the, the, what you say, yeah. Yeah, I want to, to, <laughs> It would be cool to say it in France, but in French. You can say it in French, and then we will try together to translate okay. it. Comme j'ai envie de créer un film qui est plus des réseaux de symboles que un, un film narratif. Can I do yeah, try sure. that now? Um, as I'm trying to make a movie that is more a space of symbols than a space of stories. Yeah. Network. Network. Yeah. Network. <laughs> 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 um, Ce qui m'intéresse, c'est de poser des hypothèses et de, 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 de commencer à proposer des connexions possibles, des symboles entre eux, en, tout en laissant ouvert, sans, sans chercher à faire comme une enquête policière où on aurait une solution. So, um, so I'm trying to make a hypothesis um, of possible connections between those symbols, but 
not to do it like a police investigation that is looking for to like to solve a murder in, or a crime in a certain way. Yeah. C'est comme lorsque le poète Baudelaire dit euh, des correspondances. Le mot de correspondance, il dit il y a des correspondances entre des choses complètement inattendues qui peuvent en, en fait à, à être liées mystérieusement. So Baudelaire said called correspondences. It's like magical, mystical uh, connections between things that don't seem to be connected at first glance. Okay, thank you. So uh, we have a question in the first. Uh, I, I just can give my mic up. Thank you. Uh, Virgil, um, this is exactly what we meant with um, our topic of implant. As, uh, so Nino uh, couldn't adapt uh, very much onto it, but um, this is how you renate your story. So you put some elements, very disparate elements, and put them in a way together without narrating them. So just like uh, juxtapositions, who may um, occur. And this is what um, us um, stroke a lot, so um, that's why we chose um, this um, topic of implant. So it's not about um, um, planting something uh, unorganic into a living body, but to... It's not Cronenberg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> we already had Cronenberg. No, to, to put uh, things together that in the first lens um, uh, don't have any connections uh, with themselves. And you um, very slowly, you discover a story behind these kind of disparate elements. And this is really great. Um, perhaps you could comment a little bit um, how you do narration. Also, you presented once in, in Fit Marseille. Uh, perhaps you re remember, of course, you re remember the YouTube um, film that you did, perhaps more uh, for a joke, but Perhaps you, you could also comment on this or explain it a little bit. And also I would like to, um, um, to um, uh, yeah, uh, um, ajouter <laughs> um, that um, it was a lot of uh, the questions of territory. And I was really kind of surprised because for me, um, you and also the first film, this is a classical movie about heterotopy. <coughs> So it doesn't matter where it is going on because it is a uh, universe in itself. It's more like a um, closed universe when, where you can build up your own uh, regle and, and your, your own rules. Yeah, and how the, um, the military group is doing. They are turning uh, around the, all the meanings of society. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot. Uh, yeah. Um, First, yeah, I'm, I'm more interested by the, the process of collage, you know, when you, you, you confront, like in a diptych, I'm re really f um, interested by the painting, the classic painting, where there's diptych or triptych or m multiple uh, tableaux, and th sometimes there was nothing apparently in common between the first part and the second part, and, and, and my film, I, I, I think of it as a triptych, in a way, or you can decline in a, in a multiple way, and it's, it, it, there is another film that you don't see, which is in it. Uh, there is a ghost. For, for me, so Sophia Sonia is, is like the ghost uh, who, who, is sur who surrounded the, 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 the city. She's in the sky. She, she's, she's looking at every, every story. And she, she, she's not there, but everything talks about her. Everything talks about the, 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 the something missing in, in each life of the, the, the character. So for, for this film, uh, my, 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 my start was the city, yes, but really th this idea of, of, of a, ghost a ghost young lady, you know, and it creates a, a, a network of, of, of correspondence of signs. And, um, and yes, about the territory, yeah, for sure, it's free. for me, I remember when I was in a fi fine arts school, I was this. I had this teacher. We, we talk about him, Christian Boltanski, who, who, who said to me, um, "Speak about your village, and w when we speak about your village, you speak about the world. Don't try to speak about big, big things. If you just try to to show the rules of your village, everything will come out. And uh, that's what I try to do with Sofiane Zipolis. Any other questions in the audience? No. Ra well, there is a raised hand. 
No, I, I'm okay. That I didn't see. Over there too. So I think we have to start. Yes, um, so I know France, uh, we crossed France from the harbor to Germany. And I can say I never saw France in the way you described it, and I say thank you, because it is a different picture of France for me. I know Africa, I used to live in Africa for a long time, so it doesn't disturb me. Africans have certain professions and I found it again in your country, uh, in your film. But um, my question is, in the end I got uh, the idea uh, that um, all of us are some kind of aliens, strangers in our cities. Uh, you uh, used to show the city with DR and designers and people uh, maybe in uh, discotheques over there, but when we go there at night, we are aliens. I'm an alien. Uh, was it your attention as a to, to show this, that uh, in the end, not only the wife of the ambassador is an alien, an outside country, for example, Africa, um, all of us are somewhere um, aliens. Did you want to say this? I'm not the director of the wife of the ambassador, you know, just to let you know. As, uh, as though, but to put this together, yeah, yeah, yeah. which means they were aliens, yeah, sure. but then that you was, that, come that with our, your... Uh, like our suggestion, that wasn't his, uh, yeah. his, cho his choice to put these films together. We just thought they would, like... Uh, that wasn't but his it's choice. Okay. It's yeah, okay. it, no, it wasn't his choice. He oh, was, no, uh, he, I think he saw the ambassador's wife for the first yeah, time today. That's mm, right. you know. But you, in your movie... In your creation, everyone is at least an alien. Everybody Africans an alien? are alien, the French. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I totally understand what you say. And what's the, the, the irony is that the, this kind of cult uh, influenced by Scientology talks a lot, a lot about the aliens, like they, were, they are coming from a, a strange nowhere, but you're right, we are aliens to ourselves. And I, I, I try to, to show people <laughs> as so lost in their own streets that they, they feel like they don't belong to this place. So yeah, I totally agree. We had a question over there, I think. Ah, yeah. 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 Uh, hey. There is another thing that the Scientology guys are saying, and it's basically that we are coming to on some kind of apoc apocalypse. And uh, I had the feeling that you, you, the characters, and maybe also you have a mixed um, feelings about the end. The end could be also a new beginning, so it's exciting. New, like yes, that's topic. right. And just for the little story, this, this guy who, who is the MC of the, the, this evening is a real uh, Scientologist, and I, I, I was, it was really important for me because I, I spent a lot of time with, in the Church of Scientology to, 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 to script my film and, uh, and the, the Jehovah Witnesses too. And uh, he, he, he was okay to, to, to be part of the film. But he, was not, he wasn't sure of my, my intention, but he was, he was okay. So uh, I, I didn't want to criticize uh, the, the, this kind of cult because I really understand why my, my, uh, my uh, actress uh, is so lonely that she said to herself, why not going to this evening uh, ex instead of looking at the television like I always do. So in the same kind of state of mind, I try to, to take very serious, seriously all the mysticism, the cheap mysticism, mysticism is that you can find on uh, internet forums, uh, conspir conspiracy, uh, uh, conspiracy I, theories. Uh, conspiracy theory, thank you. And, and, and I wanted to, to, to take all the, the poetic power, power that there is in, in this, like when the, the girls say all the, the the, the, the fact that the, the, the end of the world is, is close when the sun is, uh, is, is rising. And, uh, and I, in, the, in the end of the film, I, I try to, to take very seriously too this, 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 the power of the, the last day and how, how can it be a, a good thing that the, the world ends so that <coughs> there is a new blank page that we, where we can write a new script, a new story. Yeah. 
So, any other questions? No? Then? Yes, I, 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 was, I, I did want to, to speak about, about this thing because there is a, a strong co correspondence too. And uh, in a different way, but also in a very close way, he tried to, to represent uh, the end of our world and the beginning of another world. Can you say something about that? <laughs> It's about his film um, in my room. Yeah, most people haven't seen it, so. But um, <laughs> I, I think I'm more. I must say I, I was really irritated by this reaction, generally, especially in, in the French press, that that it seemed so much uh, that the film was understood like a, almost like a ecological utopia. I, you, I didn't say that. No, I know you didn't say that. So I'm, that I just don't. I don't really don't want to. I mean, I, I want films to be open and so on, but there are some interpretations if they go in that direction. I, um, for me, yeah. I mean, for me, it's a, it's a very, very personal story that takes, obviously, a very large turn by letting humanity disappear. So it was more, more really about identity questions. And so it, I, I see... As I, I see I see a difference. I, I see a difference, but I also see a similarity in that I really believe that this your film talks in a good way about alienation, and I think my main characters also, or all, I think all characters in my movies are dealing with the fact that they don't really belong, and that they just define themselves by what they don't want to belong to, and not by a positive image of what they could belong to or be. What, what I like is that even with the lack of money, you, tr you, 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 you find a way to, to create a, a, a new or a, 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 an irreal uh, world. And it's true when you don't have enough money to pay. How many figurants? Um, can we, uh, schauspieler, pardon, actors. No, oh, uh, uh, Statisten, extras? Extras. Wait, extra. wait, wait, you don't have enough money to pay Sorry. extra. You, you, you shoot your film in, in empty streets. Mm -hmm. And it becomes a little science fiction because why the street is empty? It's just because you don't have the money to pay extras. And, 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 and this way creates a lot of, 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 of strangeness just because of the lack of money. Yeah. <laughs> and he did uh, the whole film like that. <laughs> So thank you very much for uh, like first thank you very much a little applause always oh, to uh, our nice panel thank you very much.